Hello, welcome to Easy Cup Executive Bowls, and today we're going to be looking at Darth Vader, finally one of the best Vaders I've ever seen in my life. Darth Vader from the Obi-Wan series finally and this is what this was expected I mean who didn't see this coming it would have been dumb for Hot Toys not to do it very excited to see it and we got some good little teases in here as well so here at ComicConcepts.com obviously price isn't a an option here this is going to be your cheapest Three fourteen ninety nine. Now you're not getting that stupid hologram exclusive thing that comes from Sideshow. Or I guess I don't care for holograms. I've never used it. Never once have I displayed it. Never once have I ever even thought about displaying it. I mean, holograms are just cheap ways to just get you in and make you get fooled to buy from a certain company. I guess, but it's a good it's a good scheme. I like it. Um, I like it a lot. <laughs> So, Darth Vader, um, this is probably, like, an amazing, an amazing, uh, release. Uh, quarter one, 2024, of course, a long wait. <coughs> but we're gonna have to, like, oh my gosh. It was gonna be between Return of the Jedi or this Vader, and I just have to get this Vader, being that it's Anakin Skywalker. Like, you can see his, like, charaded helmet. I like that a lot. It's really nice. So, um... I was kind of wanting to wait for the Return of the Jedi one because it's going to be a DX as well. I know. It's going to have, you know, the Anakin old man head sculpt and all that kind of stuff. But here we go with this. Now, it does have USB lit up lightsaber. I'm not sure if that's going to be with Reva's lightsabers as well or just these. I don't know. Also, is this a wired cape? I have not seen too much on that yet. Here he is standing on his alternate base. I love this is a DX. So DX, you're going to get rolling eye. Eye. Just one eye. A rolling eyeball. Um, different bases. Switch outs. Um, just a bunch of stuff. Like, look at this. This is amazing. Now, a lot of people are like, the show was okay, but I, I guess I'll take this. No, I'm getting this Vader. This is Darth freaking Vader. Um, kind of weird how they made Obi-Wan, I think there was like rumors of him being Obi uh, Obi-Wan's being bisexual in the comics or something. Um, it benefits me because now I can fantasize about having great, awesome nights with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now on to the next one. So here we have the Grand Inquisitor right behind him. Good tease, Hot Toys. Good tease. I like that they have him there. Um, he actually looks better here than in the show to me. Uh, that's just fantastic. Now, this is great and perfect. Everything about this whole thing is just everything un unraveling here. Um, this is a light up chest panel. I'm not sure if it's going to be a separate battery compartment and battery system. It'd be smart for them to have a USB powered, um, what do you call it? like chest plate and belt system here. I would, I would love that. I'd prefer that much more so than, than, um, uh, freaking batteries because they just don't last and it's a pain in the ass we did it so here we go with more of the cape flying around and looking all wired and stuff i'm not too sure now what i'm not liking is the pleather that they're going to be using i'm not i'm i'm pretty sure this is not genuine leather if it was it probably will be a little bit higher but i'm kind of at that stage where i'm not really caring about hot toys pricing anymore with competition and with their um ongoing threat of nr and queen studios i'm kind of bargaining here being very selective and bargaining you can see him on his variant base because i want to see more from hot toys and we are getting more we'll get into that with the later videos 
and it's just nice and 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 welcoming to see such things one thing hot toys needs to work on is their damn pleather which they kind of fixed that with the wolverine days of the past one and giving us real leather but another thing is their releases their timed releases which i'll go over in the next video as well it's taking a long time to get these figures out and by the time this vader comes out i mean will there be another vader will there be another show will there be another theme i don't know so it does look like the cape is wired it probably says that in the description but i refuse to read as i uh drink my little peach juice so uh obviously the lightsaber is not going to be like these from uh chris custom sabers they're cathode lightsabers they're super bright they look like neon bulbs um I, are they neon bulbs I, they, I think they work with gas i don't know i i, I honestly i don't know <laughs> so more of, the anakin sculpt is unbelievably amazing i mean it's perfection here of course prototype but we are likely to see very similar you know going on here uh it, wasn't his eyes like more red like the lenses on his eyes more red i felt it was more red in the show but other than that, a lot of people are like, oh my god, there's a lot of space in that helmet. And I'm like, yeah, this guy had an egghead on this whole time. He has a lot of room to work with to increase his height. So that's kind of weird looking. That's going to be very weird looking. I am very glad they went super glossy on his helmet. I absolutely love the super gloss look. Of course, it's very reminiscent of the show. I do have a Sideshow Statue Mythos Vader on order, which isn't glossy at all. If anything, it is meant to be matte, and I don't like matte. He's a bad person. I like shiny things. I like Charizard. I like Pokemon cards, sparkly, glitter. More of Anakin's moving eyeball right there. Just one eyeball. You're only getting one eyeball. Um, but it's just everything about this thing is screaming awesome to me. I absolutely love it. Scratch that paint. And it's just... It's a beautiful, beautiful figure. Now here he is battling Obi-Wan Kenobi and jumping because Vader can jump and why not and more poses and where is the product page because I need to go over that with you guys and show you all that he comes with because this is a Deluxe DX. DX Deluxe. Deluxe Hamburgers. I just love that sculpt. You get to see a little bit of burnage going around and then that sculpt. I love that they didn't add in some you know fiery effect with the paint apps like i don't i don't really like that sideshow does that a lot sideshow makes it like oh it's not, it, it just got cut and it's on fire no i don't mm, no i don't like it and i love that like you, you know you, you have your switch outs you have to original vader like you can go all strict vader but i'm just gonna go full on battle to harden vader and here is everything he comes with uh uh uh, uh. so we have him, uh, as you can see, I want to zoom in on that. There's a USB port or powered lightsaber here. I guess you can switch out these swappy blades. The Revo blade does not look like it is lit up. How bright these USB power blades are going to be, we shall see. Will they cancel out the need for me to buy these cathode lightsabers for near $100? I don't think so. We do have... I don't know it's got to be swappable capes because this has a cut on the back of his cape from when obi-wan was battling with him and i have not seen them say swappable capes but if not oh well this is also the variant base so the deluxe version obviously comes with switch out parts the variant base comes out strictly for obi-wan like damaged stuff and all battle tattered and whatnot so you do have his Anakin base sculpt everything is in the base, but I am go I'm definitely going to get the deluxe version Deluxe comes with the little switch outs to clean them up um, But what's making me LED light up figure base now is that USB? Because that's something I would make USB because that needs to be USB powered I really hope that's USB powered if it's not hot toys <laughs> That's stupid and ridiculous to put an LED powered uh usb powered led lightsaber but you're not putting usb powered base i don't see it there so it probably is batteries guys this is the reality of things they're probably doing that on us um kind of kind of crazy 
I have to say. I have to say that's kind of crazy and messed up for them to do that. But I would, i just definitely go with a uh, deluxe version. I must get this Vader 100%. Not going to pass on this. If you do pass, oh well, that's you. That's whatever you want to do. I'm going to get it because I absolutely love this thing. And like I said, ComicConcepts.com has them for a good price. And I think for all the things we're getting with this Vader for $314.99 is a good price. Now, Hot Toys is not is not getting our butts at all with this. I, I think this is a very well piece, well priced piece, and it's uh, LED powered US, USB um, switch outs. You get a bit a bit of a head sculpt. You have a lot of innovation going on throughout this uh, figure. So. Uh, this is a special edition bonus, which I was talking about, which nobody cares about. Like, this is not at all of my worries. Um, it's just about getting that Vader, and Vader looks simply amazing. I just, it's it's awesome. 100% buy. And make sure you join the channel down below. You can be a member of the channel by joining, hitting that join button, and like the videos, and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for joining Easy Company Collectibles. Juice.